how does fire cast a shadow? Yeah, fire can cast a shadow in certain scenarios. So, what is fire? Fire is what comes out from combustion. It's a lot of heat. Uh, in, in, what, what is inside a flame? The the light that you see comes from the uh, from the combustion of various particles and, and various substances. And because it is hot, it rises upwards. That's why the flame is always pointing upwards, typically, unless there is wind. And inside a flame, you have certain kinds of particulate matter, soot, perhaps from a candle or the, the whatever substance has been combusted, the carbon particles or whatever it is, right? Soot is also carbon. And it goes upwards. It rises upwards because the surrounding air is cooler than the flame. Now, not all flames cast shadows. If you're in a dark room and you light a flame, it will actually give, give off light. It won't cast a shadow. So in what scenarios will you have a flame casting a shadow? One scenario is that you have a flame. Let's say you have a candle, a candlestick, a flame on the top. And uh, you shine a very bright light from behind it towards the wall. So you have a flame here, you have a wall here, and here you have a very bright light, which is brighter than the flame itself. In that case, the flame will cast a shadow because it is obstructing the path of this brighter light. So that is one scenario in which a flame could cast a shadow. There's another scenario. So a flame, like I said, it's a very hot substance. It warps the air and it ends up causing a phenomenon called optical refraction. A refraction happens when there is a boundary between two substances which, which uh, through which light passes. A thicker substance and a thinner substance, different temperatures or whatever. And it's, it's the, it's the uh, phenomenon in which you, if you put your finger in a, in a glass of water, your finger appears to be broken or bent or, or a pen or a stick or whatever. So that also happens at the interface of a hot flame and cooler air. So it kind of warps and distorts the path of light. And that also can appear to cast a shadow. It's, it's an illusion. In this case, it's an illusion caused by refraction of light. So two scenarios, one in which a flame obstructs a much brighter light. And secondly, a, fray, a flame which causes refraction of light, which appears in the form of a shadow. So these are two, two scenarios I can think of right now.